Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Bit Workshop. I've got to do some pressure cleaning and I thought, well, shall I uh, employ someone to do it? And I got two quotes. They were both over £100. And for far less than £100, I've managed to get myself a pressure washer of my own. This is the Karcher K2 full control and it comes with a home kit. So I think this is a good deal. I bought this from Screwfix here in the UK. Uh, and at the moment in the UK, they're providing by far the most competitive price for this particular machine. Okay, I'm going to do this in the order that the instructions say. First of all, we're going to install the wheels. And what we're going to do is to push that in here. And it went click. So that one's in. Same on the other side. And it went click. Next, we're going to take uh, this handle and fix that on. If you look at the back here, the two big holes and here are a couple of spiky bits underneath the plastic. They're going to go in the top here in these two little places. Just line it up nice and carefully and then pull it towards you. And again, that went click and that one went click. There is in the kit a little hose nozzle. It's always best to check. There should be a rubber washer on the inside of there. So that goes on and screw that up reasonably tight. It's the handle. You'll see a rectangular sort of hole there and the end is going to go in like so and you push and it goes click as it goes past the stop and now it won't come all the way out. Now the hose gets connected uh, to the uh, hand unit here. You'll see a yellow piece of plastic uh, just here and if you squeeze there and move it that way it clicks out. That then allows this, and you need to look at the shape of it, it's rectangular if you look at the end, and that's a sort of rectangular shaped hole. So get it in the right place, it goes in, sort of clicks a bit, and then you push that piece of plastic back. And there's a similar type of connector here. We want to lift this piece up, like so, put the other end in here, and again we're looking at that shape, it's uh, rectangular, and so I'm going to push that in like so, and then click that back down again. That's now nice and secure. Now in this kit there are two lances, uh, one which is uh, just designed uh, to be used at full pressure, and you've got this one which has the ability, uh, it says a mix, and that's for uh, use when you're using a detergent, uh, we'll see that later. Soft, medium, and there's a picture of a car there. Uh, and then hard. So that's that one. And there's this piece which I can see is an extension piece. Uh, you would put this in here, push hard and then twist and that's that locked. And then when you wish to use one of the lances, it's a similar type of connector here. Uh, you locate it, push it in and twist through 90 degrees and that's it. And to remove it, push inwards, back through 90 to remove it like that. Now the final part to assemble is this uh, patio cleaner uh, attachment and uh, if you look here there's a sort of pointed bit there so it looks like it's going that direction and this is the uh, part we're going to fix to it uh, and there's the pointed direction so it's fairly obvious. You're going to turn this through 45 degrees so it's pointing up in that direction and it'll fit down in like that. Push down and then rotate and it clicks and that's it securely in place and this can be attached now at the end of the uh, long arm. That is best before you start to uh, sweep and get rid of the worst of the detritus that might be on a surface you're about to clean outside. Now a really useful thing to have if you're going to have to uh, use the sprayer up against something which is precious. There is a risk that you might send some water underneath the door uh, so uh, you could have a piece of board and that's what I'll be using and that will help protect uh, whatever is beyond uh, the area where you're spraying. So I've connected the power I'm now connecting the water supply and making sure that's on properly there and then I'm going to turn the water on before I attempt to turn the machine on. Now it's really important that you do not run this machine dry so always make sure you've got the water supply connected and turned on. Whenever you're using any form of pressure washer you need some form of eye protection because you can easily get uh, little bits of stone uh, or whatever it is thrown up by the sprayer and it can easily go into your eye. Now it's really important as well as wearing safety glasses 
uh, to never uh, point uh, the nozzle at a person or a pet or any, any creature of any description. Now I intend using each of the tools. I'm going to do a comparison between using the patio and deck solution and using it with just plain water. Now, now you know, without, without it being switched on, uh, you've got water that will come through just because of the mains water pressure. So I'll now turn the machine on. You heard that sort of kick into life there. Well, I hope you can see where I've been. Well, that's with that nozzle. I'm going to try the patio gadget just to see what it's like. Now that actually is really impressive. I, I, I was expecting this to be a, a rubbish attachment because it came uh, free in this sort of kit, uh, but actually it's really effective. And you know you see all the adverts for these things with chap wearing sort of nice sort of chinos and uh, probably deck shoes or whatever. Um, well, actually you could almost get away with not wearing any protective clothing. Uh, it's hardly making any mess anywhere at all. And I think this is the perfect gadget for doing this step. Just get rid of the dirt so you can see. Yeah, I've missed a few bits over here. That's just uh, my eagerness to get going. So I'll, I'll see if I can get rid of that as effectively. It's probably only worth uh, using the lance on a patio, I'd say, if you have some awkward areas like into a corner like this, that brickwork. Now just look at that before and after. That is absolutely superb. And I'll do this front edge here. Now the instructions for the patio cleaner say put it on under low pressure like this. Leave it for a few minutes to soak and then spray off under high pressure. So at this stage we're not trying to actually see any uh, visible difference. What we're trying to do is to get that dirt soaked with the cleaner. And in that short time that I've done that lot I've used half, half a bottle. So I'm now going back to the patio gadget and see if I can see any difference. Well, I, I don't think the camera can pick up the difference between uh, using the uh, patio cleaner and not. In fact, I don't know that I can, to be honest. Now, if I wasn't filming now, I believe I'd probably do this whole area here in probably about half an hour. Uh, maybe 40 minutes. If it had been done every year, and so one's only just taking off the one year's worth of detritus and dirt and so on, then I think you could probably do it in about 20 minutes. I thought this would give you a good indication of before and after. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. I better go back and fix that patch. Now, last time when I used the patio uh, cleaning solution, uh, I didn't leave it for long enough. It should be uh, between 10 and 15 minutes. So I'm going to correct that this time, and I'm going to try half of these slabs with the cleaner and half without. So it's all set up, and I've got it in the mix position on the variable wand. Another leaf seems to have crept in.
Well, there we go. That's the half with the solution. And I'm now going to time myself. Now, after one's finished using the bottle of solution, it's a good idea to get some clean water, uh, put the end of the uh, tube that one would normally use with the cleaning solution into that water, and then again, in the mixed position, run it just for a little bit. And that then cleans out any of the detergent mixture from the system uh, and leaves it nice and clean, ready for storage. Well, that has now had uh, 15 minutes, which I think is the fairest thing to do. And so I'm now going to start and you can see where the uh, detergent went to slightly into these slabs here. I'll start from here and see what happens. Well, I, I have to be absolutely honest, I, I cannot see enough difference between this side and that side to say that it was worth going through uh, that process of putting the detergent on. Now, frankly, whether the detergent worked or not, this thing works so well, uh, absolutely brilliantly. I, I really can't recommend it more highly. I think it's really, really good. Next, we need to do a car. Now, when it comes to doing a car, there's a number of precautions you need to take. First of all, use a variable nozzle in position two, which is medium, and there's a picture of a car there. Next, if you've got these uh, sensors on the car, I call them DETAs, do not, whatever you do, spray directly onto a DETA from a close distance. Do it from at least a foot away, maybe a little bit more to be on the safe side. Also, if you've got cameras on the car, uh, protect those as well. On the wheels, avoid putting any high pressure on the walls of the tyre and also avoid putting high pressure directly on the valve of the tyre. Whilst I'm at it, I might as well do this old picnic table. Hey, that's not bad, is it? Well, that's the Karcher K2 full control, which I bought from Screwfix. I paid the, the going rate at the time, which was about 89 pounds. Now, if I give it marks out of 10, if you're doing patios, I give 11 out of 10. It's absolutely brilliant. And this little gadget, as flimsy as I thought it was at the beginning, is absolutely brilliant. But when it ca came to using this solution for patios, uh, now bearing in mind, I was only using it on concrete slabs, not on decking, which might be a completely different thing. I didn't think that this uh, was, was worth it, to be honest. Um, when I did the car, uh, it did a good job on the car. I'd give it seven out of 10 for the car, but I didn't have the special solution for the car. Now, I really believe that if I had had that special solution, it would have made a better job on the car because cars are greasy. Um, but for the patio, this patio mixture didn't sort of do anything for me, I'm afraid. But overall, I really think this is a great bit of kit. It's well worth getting. Uh, if you've got some brickwork, some fencing or whatever that needs a jolly good cleanup, this is the gadget to get. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.